Hey guys, welcome to a new video. You know, sometimes it feels like I've been working on this uh, Dig Octa stuff for like, like a year now. Oh wait, I started working on this last November, so it has actually been a year. But it's done. And after we take a final look at these things in this video, you can head to a shopping page and pick it up if you like. For those who haven't seen the four previous videos, I have a linked playlist and those dive deeper into the idea behind the system, the, uh, the brain boards or uh, the power boards and um, even how to set up stacking and things like that. So if you haven't seen those yet, maybe go over there first and watch those. They'll give you a better understanding of what we're talking about. Now, I know what you're all dying to hear, and that is prices. And prices had to change a little bit last minute, but it's not too bad, I think. Our goal of being able to buy a power board and two brain boards for under a hundred bucks is still a reality. So uh, I'll start off with the brain board. The brain board 328L, so that has eight uh, local LED channels, is 3250 in the worldwide store. Then after the brain board, the first in the power board lineup is the Power 5. It comes in at 3250, so that's the same price as a brain board. And it's excellent for stacking because it has all pluggable outputs, each individually fused, and it can take up to 50 amps continuous. Next in the lineup is our, the, well, the Power 7. I need to check my notes here. The Power 7 is slightly more expensive at $34.99. It also has 50 amps power capabilities or power handling, but it uses the split design with the negative here and the positives here, each again with a fused output for 16 total outputs. Now this is less stackable, but if you're building it into a box that likely isn't an issue, uh, it can still be stacked. You just can't reach the terminals that well anymore. Um, right, and then we have the last power board, and that that comes in more expensive than I thought it would have to be, because it's now forty four ninety nine, so forty five bucks basically. Same design, but with the different input stage and massive amounts of copper in the board, this is able to handle one hundred amps continuous. So especially if you're doing a five volt project. Well, you can have all the five volts you want. Uh, again, individually fused outputs, 16 of them, uh, stacking capable, etc. cetera. Uh, yeah. So those are all the prices for the Dig Octa. As I said, the power boards needed to be a little bit more expensive than I thought they initially uh, would come in at. Uh, mainly that is to do with manufacturing costs and even mean for like the, the Power 7 HC, so the high current variant just a piece to be alone is like it's, it's nuts so yeah I th but as i said our goal of having um like 16 ports for under 100 dollars if you buy a normal power 7 so not the hc and then two brain boards you land at exactly 99.99 and that gives you 16 data ports 16 power ports and between 2,000 and four or 5,000 LEDs you can play with in total. And well, that should be plenty for a lot of setups. Now, all these prices I named are for the worldwide store. I'm of course also selling through Dr. Z's and he'll have stock almost at the same time as worldwide will have. His prices often vary slightly because we have to factor in shipping costs and uh, import taxes and things like that. So each, item might be a few bucks more expensive than in the worldwide store. But if you then calculate local shipping and shipping times, you'll basically always be better off uh, buying from him. So even though uh, his boards will come in a week and from worldwide are available now, I'd still buy through Dr. Z's because with the shipping from worldwide, which generally takes two to three weeks, you'll still have it quicker if you buy it in the US and it ships out in a week or so. Another new thing uh, versus the other boards I sell, these will now come individually packed in a nice carton box 
and they'll also include a little pamphlet with some starting information of what all the ports do. Um, there is also a new page now on my uh, Dig Okta system webpage. There's an index page which goes to other pages. And there is now a new page called a ports page. And on that port page, you will find the same image that is on the documents, which highlight what all the ports, especially on this brain board, what they do and what you use them for. And I hope that's a good uh, getting started guide or info for people starting out. Right, so speaking of getting started, I know you guys want to head out and start playing with these two, but here's a quick, well, how to start when you receive the boards. We'll be using a Power 7 and a Power, uh, power a Brain Board, and we'll stack those together. And then we'll uh, we'll hook up some uh, some pixels, you know, see how that works. Right, I'll uh, start with that. Right, so what you see here is a LRS 600 that's able to do well, it says it right here, 12 volt at 50 amps. This is a power seven, which is able to handle well, five volt, 12 volt and 24 volt at 50 amps. And then we have a single brain board on top that you can easily stack on another one. And we're, we're using three sets of 10 gauge cable to make sure we don't get any voltage drop getting into the board. Right, let me hook up the outputs. Okay, we have two outputs hooked up. So let's connect some uh, LED pigtails to them. Or, well, we have two pigtails hooked up. Let's hook up some LEDs to them. There we go. Let's get that on screen. Okay, and let's give that a little test to see if that's working. Okay, seems to start just fine. The boards are pre-configured from uh, the factory, I guess I should say. Uh, so they run WLED 13.1. They have the ethernet port enabled and all ports are enabled with 30 LEDs. But as you can see, well, uh, they, they light up green instead of orange. And here we have some extras. Uh, so we need to get into the board and configure that. So let's do that right now. Okay. Uh, so the board has started. I added the ethernet cable real quick and uh, we're in WLED. As I said, the boards come pre-flashed with WLEDs 13.1, as we can see here in the info screen. Let me enlarge that. Yeah, there we go. Um, you can manually upgrade them to 13.3 or a later version if you want to. Uh, but first we need to go into LED preferences and I'm gonna disable the brightness limiter. And then, well, we have two ports with 100 LEDs each. So I'm gonna change those. And I know these are RGB pixels instead of GRB. So we do that for the first and then for the second port, RGB. And then we're going to scroll down and start hitting minus because we don't need eight ports configured right now. We only need two. And don't worry about those GPIO numbers. You can always find those in the pinout guide on the Quinn LED website. Okay, that is one and two left with 100 LEDs and set to RGB pixels and no brightness limiter. Let's hit save. There we go. That looks a whole lot different. <laughs> so let's go back to that desk view. And now we can say, let's go to red, let's go to blue, let's go to green. Okay, and uh, let's do a nice effect here. The fireworks 1D should work, I think. Yeah, fireworks starburst, nice pretty colors. Yeah, well, and basically that's it. That's that out of the box experience. It's pre-configured, ethernet works immediately. If you want to use Wi-Fi, please make sure to attach the antenna. Otherwise the reception is very spotty. Uh, it comes included with an external antenna, so that's no problem. And you can also build that into your box or 
whatever you're using. And that's how easy it is to set up. Just screw it together, add the power cables, make sure to add enough depending on how many amps you're planning on using and turn it on. It's pre-configured, change the configuration to what you need and done. So I'm not going to bore you any longer. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video again. If you wish to pick one or a few of these up, uh, head over to the worldwide store or the Dr. Z stores now and they should be available and in stock. And if you do so, thank you very much from all of us. And I'll see you guys in the next video, in the comments, I hope, uh, on Discord and all those places. Bye-bye.